which leads nicely into point number seven is you're not there to be her child. All right. She didn't marry you so that she could have uh, a son to take care of. And a lot of guys do this. Surprisingly, they act like their wife's son, the child, and they think it's cute. Right? And maybe even the wife thinks it's cute for a minute because she gets a lot of attention and she feels special and she feels wanted, but just like a new puppy, it gradually wears off and you become more of annoyance than anybody excited to have you around. So don't be immature. Don't weigh on her so heavy that she's got to be not only the woman, but also the man of the relationship. We see this with a lot of single mothers. They're burnt out, they're burnt up because dad's not around for whatever reason. He passed away, there's a divorce, he's out of the situation, whatever it may be. And now this, this, this wife, this mother is having to play both the feminine, motherly wife role and also the masculine fatherly husband role. It's not productive, it's not healthy, and you need to step up as the man. If you can step up as the man, it gives her the opportunity and the freedom to step fully into the feminine role, which is what you want, right? Don't we all want a feminine woman? Like, I don't, I don't want to be married to a masculine woman. And I don't want to put her in the position where she feels like she has to be the man of the house. I want a feminine woman. And in order to create that freedom and flexibility and the, the space for her to do that, then I need to be assertive in stepping into the manly role so that she can step into the womanly role. And this is how the relationship works. That goes back to not whining. Uh, that goes to the third component of what it means to be a man, which is preside leadership, having clear vision, having an expectation, being able to cast and communicate that vision effectively, being able to have a plan and a strategy and start working towards that plan for your career, for your kids, for her, for life in general. It's your job to do that. And if you're acting like a boy, and let me tell you, the difference between a boy and a man is personal accountability and responsibility. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with age, right? I know some young men who act more manly than 30, 40, 50 year old males because they're accepting more responsibility and accountability in their own life. That's the difference. So if you're blaming other people or outside circumstances for your lack of performance or, or not getting what it is that you want out of life, then you're acting by definition like a boy. And if you're acting like a boy, then you're forcing her to step into the motherly role. And she doesn't want to be your mom. She wants to be your wife. She wants to be your partner. She wants to be an advocate for you. She wants to believe in you.